I'm Jake and we're back with another Down and Dirty where we take simple problems and create quick solutions. Today, we're gonna tackle making a wrench for our tool holder, so let's get into it. So I went ahead and already took all the dimensions for our wrench. You can kind of see it here. We're gonna have an outside that is gonna go around. We're gonna cut that wrench in half at the end. We're gonna have a long handle with a hole to hold it on the wall. And then we're gonna have individual teeth that are gonna index into each one of these on the collet holder. So let's get straight into the CAD. We're gonna start by creating a sketch. All right. Now we're gonna draw two circles, one, two. The first outside circle is gonna be on the outside of our wrench. So we're gonna throw a dimension on that of two inch 750. We can see here, we have that other circle, we'll drag that in. We're gonna create an inner circle of one inch 975. And then the last thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw one last circle on the inside and that's gonna represent the inside of our teeth. And that measures one inch 750. What we can do is drag this over and we're gonna make this line a construction line. This is gonna be the center of one of our teeth on the side. And then now I'm gonna draw a line here. Clicking on that and our tooth is 0 0.210 wide overall. So I'm gonna divide that by two for half of our tooth length. We're gonna go ahead and mirror that over now. And we have our one tooth. On this one right here, we have six teeth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna create a circular pattern on our drawing that represents those six teeth. We're gonna create, we're gonna do circular pattern, select these two lines, and we're gonna click on the center point, and we're gonna change this value to six. So now here we have six points of contact, we're ready to go. The last thing we have to do is make our handle. I'm gonna draw a construction line down. We're gonna draw two circles again, one, two, one of these is the inside. We're gonna go ahead and make this um, a quarter of an inch hole for us to hang our wrench. And we're gonna make the outside of it just a one inch. So it's gonna be a one inch handle. And then the overall length of this is gonna be eight inches from the center of our tool. Lastly, I need to make a line up. Um, and make sure that this is coincident with this. And then we have to just make sure that this is now tangent with the bottom of our wrench. We're not touching here. There we go. And mirror that across to fill up the wrench handle. There we go. So now we have our finished wrench. We can go ahead and extrude it. So we're gonna click here. We're gonna click on each individual tooth, even though we're gonna cut off some of them here in a second. And we're gonna click on our handle. And we're gonna make this 375 in thickness. So there we go. So now we can kind of see that wrench take shape. We're gonna do two more things here. I'm gonna create another sketch on this surface and I'm gonna cut off the top of our wrench. The reason why we don't want that wrench to go all the way around is some of our tooling is larger than this nut and so we wouldn't be able to get our, um, our tool off of this thing after we tighten the nut. So we wanna remove half of it. We're gonna go ahead and select here And I'm gonna do an extrusion of the top half. Gone. So it's looking nice and pretty. Now let's do some fillets in each corner. I'm gonna do this one nice and big. And we're gonna do some small ones on each individual tooth here, just to clean it up. Too much. There we go, that looks nice. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our DXF, get it in the website, and get these parts made. Let's 
drag our DXF over. We're gonna verify our units are correct. Let's hit confirm. Metals, so we wanna go into metals. We're gonna do this in stainless, 304, 375. Add a cart. Okay, let's go ahead and take this to the manufacturing floor and get it made. And this is what I call a down and dirty wrench. For more information on material details, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.